Right, don't mind the noise. I'm here, car fishing. I'm going car fishing here. It's a little bit noise because there's some traffic going around here. I'm setting up the rod pot now. I'm already, I'm, I did already spot some carp. So it could be promising, you know. We do have to watch out a bit. If the carps don't see us. Right, I see a big one. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, you, you can't see him probably. Oh, it's a good one. Good fish, good fish. All right, just gonna make some ground bait. All right, got the ground bait. Let's get some water. Just get some water without slipping. This is actually the hard part, getting water. Mix it up a bit. Oh, carp. Spike? Is that a bike? There's a carp and a bike. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, is that a big one? Dude, I'm going to throw in one time. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Well, just grabbed a quick bike <laughs> in here. Yeah, that's a good one. It's an actual good one. Just grabbing the net. <laughs> Snook! <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a good bike. As you can see, we just gotta keep him out of the carps yeah. stuff. It's gonna go up a bit. I think it's better for on uh, to unhook him. Well, just quick catch the pike. Just check in a moment. Oh, I can see that you know, the net's stuck. Oh, it's not too bad. Well, I'm going to use the grippers. To open his mouth a bit, not to hold him, just to open his mouth so we can get the hook out a proper way. Oh, no problem. Oh, oh, oh. He's fighting. Yeah, I don't want to hold him on the, the gripper because that's not good for his jaw. Just gotta make sure his fins stay right. Off slowly. Right. Well, it was a quick catch, yeah, dude. I threw my bait in, and it's within seconds he took it. Yeah, oh, it's crazy. Oh, nice bike. Oh. Now we're gonna wait for the carp. Yeah. That's why I took the bike rod. So if I see one, just quick catching one. Ah, oh, crazy. So the image you're seeing right now. This image we've been seeing all day trying to catch that one big carp that didn't work out as planned. So I grabbed my baitcaster, went walking a bit and I found a big bike sitting right under this sort of bridge kind of thing. And I threw right in front of it with my lure and he totally s he just slammed it. He destroyed the entire lure. I didn't get it on camera because my GoPro's off but once I hooked him I uh, turned the camera on. Jeeva saw a huge bike. Yeah! Ooh. 
Oh, oh, that's insane. That's insane. Oh, my camera's off, but I just hooked a massive bike. A monster. Dude, there's no way. Oh my days. Oh my God, this is a great fish. Oh my God. There's no way that I'm hooked with this monster here. Wait, my line is... Oh! Oh, he's going. Yeah, we gotta land his guy. If you can land him from up, I can... Oh my... Oh my god. Dude, this is one of the biggest bikes I ever caught in my life. We gotta measure this guy. Oh my god, he's jumping. Yeah, I can't, I can't let him run in my line. Just grab him, grab him quick before he's running. Yes, yes. There he comes, there he comes. Yes! Oh, we got him. What a small fish. Better. Ooh, How is buy he this guy. Look at the teeth. So unfortunately the video had to stop here. My rod broke. My bait caster actually it was my favorite rod. So it broke, was an accident. We went to the store to get us a new one. And I got the Beast X rod from I don't know what the brand is again. It's a really good rod. After 220 grams casting weight, so it's going to be very good it's from Monster Pike. And I'm also going to make an original fishing film about a fish park this week. So it's upcoming this week. It's, it's going to be somewhere this week. It can be in seven days or it can be in two days. I don't know. But I'm going to a fish park and make an original fishing film about the fish park. Tomorrow we're going back to the Fibina Mall Pond to catch up some nice revenge on the bikes and car. Hopefully you carve.